Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get to medical school and other professional programs. Hello, future doctors. Today, we are going to delve into the fascinating phenomenon that marries the world of light and electricity. It's the photoelectric effect, and it is a very high-yield topic to understand for the chem phys section of the MCAT. Stick around till the end for some practice application problems to test your understanding. Let's dive on in. The photoelectric effect is a cool effect. It is the ejection or emission of electrons from the surface of a metal when exposed to light. But not just any light. It has to be light of a specific minimum frequency known is the threshold frequency. This remarkable discovery played a significant role in the development of quantum mechanics, even won Albert Einstein the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. Let's break down the energy of a photon of light first to truly understand this. So energy is given by the formula E equals HF, where E is the energy of the photon, H is Planck's constant, and F is the frequency of the light. Planck's constant is a very, very, very small number. 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds, to be precise. But but despite its size, it has a tremendous impact on the world at a quantum level. But what if you have the wavelength of light and you want to find its frequency? Well, that's where the wave equation comes in. C equals F, C equals frequency lambda. Here, C is the speed of light, which is roughly 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. F is the frequency, and lambda is the wavelength. With this equation, we can interchangeably work with either frequency or wavelength. Very useful for the MCAT. This, in fact, may be the most important equation you need to know for the MCAT. And the second most important one, probably E equals HF. So I know I keep saying it. Put these bad boys in your Anki cards. You need to know this for the exam. Now let's talk about the maximum kinetic energy in the photoelectric effect. This can be calculated using the formula K max equals HF minus W, where W is the work function, which is the minimum energy required to eject an electron from a particular metal. It is given by W equals HF threshold, where H again is Planck's constant, very small number, and F threshold is the threshold frequency. This equation is a lot less important than the other two, but nonetheless worth talking about since we're talking about the photoelectric effect. To provide a deeper understanding, let's consider a couple practice problems I teased you with at the beginning. So problem one, if a metal has a threshold frequency of 5.5 times 10 to the 14th hertz, what is the work function in the metal in electron volts? Note, one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And the hint here is you will have to convert joules to electron volts. So remember to do that. Give this a chance, pause the video, try it on your own. All right, solution revealed. First thing we're going to do, write down that equation so we know what we're doing. W equals H, F, W equals H, F. We know our work function is 6.62 times 10 to the negative 34. We know Hertz because we know Planck's constant because it's never changing. 6.62 times 10 to the negative 34. We'll multiply this by the 5.5 times 10 to the 14th, which was given in the problem. Doing this math out, we get 3.63 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And like I said, joules isn't, can't be our answer, right? So we're going to take this, convert it into electron volts by dividing by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9th, 19th. And luckily, since these are the same, we can pretty much just ignore it. Say we take 3.6 divided by 1.6. That's uh, a bit more than 2. Turns out to be exactly 2.27. And luckily, only one answer is close enough there, and it is answer choice B. So that's how we pick it on the MCAT. On to one more bonus problem, because I really want to make sure that this makes sense for you. A photon of light with a frequency of 6 times 10 to the 14th hertz strikes the surface of the metal from problem 1, the one right about. What is the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron in electron volts? I'll show you both problems. Now feel free to pause the video and try and solve this on your own. All right, let's walk through it. First, I drew a little diagram so I kind of knew what was going on. The square is the metal frequency of light hitting it. I showed as well. We know our equation is K max equals HF minus W, and we already calculated W from the last problem. So we'll take the W from our last problem, not in electron volts first, plug that on in. H, we said, isn't changing. We were given F once again. Again, we can crunch these numbers to get 3.42 times 10 to the negative 20 joules, but we're not in electron volts, so we have to convert one more time by dividing. We do that, and we get a K max of 0.21 electron volts. Is that an option? Oh, you betcha. Oh, you betcha. We've got answer choice B, 1.2. Thank you so much for watching our video on the photoelectric effect, and I will see you next time.